but there are special uh, rules associated with that, and uh, you have to be really careful. You have to undertake enhanced scrutiny to make sure that all your investors are accredited. So again, these are the blue sky laws, they're federal state laws. Um, this is a really important issue. People that are sponsoring uh, offerings of securities under this rule that, that you know I work with all the time, uh, July 10th, 2013, this, is, this was a new rule that was adopted under Dodd-Frank, and, and you, you can't have been convicted of certain crimes uh, subject to regulatory or court orders or other disqualifying events um, and and be able to participate in a 506, uh, an offering under 506 as an officer. So what that means is, is if I've been, in the past, if I've been convicted or, or subject to an order by the SEC or a state regu securities regulatory body, if, they, if they've convicted me of, of selling securities on a fraudulent basis in the past, you know, gone out and said, hey, I've got this great deal, I'm taking all your money and, and spend it on, on, you know, what I spent my money on, right? Um, uh, then, then I'm disqualified from participating in that marketplace in the future. I can't go out and, and then do it again. So it's, it's a good rule, but, but what it requires for me to do is to know my clients even better. And I have to go to my clients and say, hey man, have you ever been convicted of a crime you know, involving the sale of securities? Are you subject to any regulatory or court order? But it's good, you know, it's a, a good rule, I think, because it protects people from fraudsters. But, you know, just again, advising you, potentially doing a, a, an offering of securities, um, again, you, you, you have to know I have to know you, and you have to know your partners, who they are. Um, you know, this is, uh, let's see, maybe I did that twice. I guess so, I must have done something. Um, so again, advanced disclosure, and, and disclosure is really the key. You're gonna tell people what you're gonna be doing with their money. And we're gonna do that in writing. And you're gonna be really careful with your language. You're, you're gonna say our target, target return is 15%. It's not that we guarantee 15% return to you, it's, it's our target, you know, we may, we may not achieve our target. But, um, you know, you have to be really careful in the language that you use. You'll see, you know, past performance is no guarantee of future success. Inadequate definition of investment terms. You know, you want to be really clear, when it's you and your buddy, and, and you know, you're accounting for everything, what, however you do it on your credit cards, and it's all 50-50, it's real easy, but um, if you have a deal where you know, your investors get a 9% preferred return, and then they get 100% distribution of the profits until they get their money back, and then you split it 50-50 until they've achieved a 15% return, and then it goes 80-20, you know, it's just like all those terms in the agreement have to be really carefully defined, have to be in writing, and that's, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm going to call last call if you want a membership to this, Rhea, and also.